Hi all, welcome back. It's Fleur from Fleurs by Design. I just wanted to do a very quick walkthrough of my finished December daily. I wasn't sure I'd get it done this year, but I did manage to finish it. I did most of it between Christmas and New Year, and I finished it January 1st. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough um, so you can see the finished product. And I think where I left off um, was when I was adding the smaller insert here. So I'm just going to continue on. Um, what I decided to do... Um, because I was so behind, is just basically take these uh, page protectors, which have like three slots, and kind of do either two or three days onto one page protector. Instead of adding more of the small ones, I do add a couple more in there, I think, of the small ones. But what I decided to do was, for example, on this one, I've got day six, day seven, and day eight all on one page protector. So I've kept the first three kind of for day six, day seven, and day eight. And here I'm just documenting making some cards and more snow, which we don't get a lot of snow, so it's it's been really fun this year having snow. Um, then on day seven, my son was in a performance and I just took some pictures of them on stage and then this was his uh, bio and headshot and just a, a picture of the program and added some fun embellishments, the little stars. And for day eight, um, another opening night for Shrumped, and some pictures of the boys with the cat. Um, so again, and what I did is, um, for this I used a doily in the pocket, and I added the little December cut apart, which is one of the sheet um, from the 6x6 six six paper pads. And I did the exact same thing on the other side, so I just used the other one that said December, which was a different color. And then for this one is the 9th and 10th. So here I've got two days on one. So for the 9th, we went and got our Christmas tree in the snow. And then on the 10th, it was another uh, performance of Shrumped. And also um, Mike bought us some really yummy treats from their Christmas donuts from um, the donut place. So that was lots of fun. And then the 11th was the last day of Shrumped. And so we had a cast party. And um, then we had a, um, the kids come over to our house after and just hang out for a bit. Um, which was a lot of fun. And then the 12th, we decided to finally bring in the tree. Um, we ended up not decorating it that day, which we were going to try to get around to decorating it, but we didn't. And the cat was extremely happy. She finally got to have her little spot under the tree. And then we also uh, made a quick trip to the mall to get a an ugly sweater for Lyndon for a party. And we stopped at the pop bar and got some treats for the boys. Um, going on to 13th and 14th and 15th so again here I have three days on one page protector and I actually like the way it turned out I love these little letters I got from American Crafts or the numbers sorry they were perfect for me doing it this way um, so on the 13th more snow um, I really love this collection worked really well for Christmas this year because we did have a lot of snow uh, on the 14th Mike went to Victoria to see some family and then on the 15th um, just another performance with Delta Opera for Lyndon and also a little present for a friend. So I did add another small page protector. This was the first time I've had a Christmas party in a really long time and I wanted to kind of document you know how nice the decorations were amazing at the restaurant we went to and um, was just hanging out with my friend Lori who got me the job there um, and I added um, one of these. I still love these. These are from Dear Lizzie quite a few maybe last year or the year before um, these little clips. So I think I used one back here. Yeah so this was the yay back here and then I've used lovely right there and then I used the back of the clip. Um, we went to see a show called Jingle which a friend Tony Barton is in. Actually he's the one who's the main singer and his uh, lovely wife Tracy Neff is one of the backup singers so we went with friends to go see him and we actually had got evacuated because the fire alarm went off so that was all exciting and I've just used the back of the clip to attach the um, tickets. I had a couple extra photos that I didn't add so I just added them to this little winter tag um, so when it's flipped over to this side, it says winter, which goes with that one. And this is just um, my favorite Christmas movie, Die Hard, we watched. Um, just doing some Christmas cards and finally getting the lights up on the tree, which that all happened on the 17th. So this is the next day, which is the 18th, and um, it snowed again and a lot of snow so we were actually able to make a little snowman the snow wasn't the great the greatest you can see it was falling apart it was pretty dry but yeah, we had enough that we could actually do something and I love these little clips from crepe paper so they worked perfectly um, we also on that day um, finished decorating the tree 
putting up the ornaments and getting it finished. There's a picture of my favorite ornament and the boys just kind of putting up their favorite ornaments as well. And um, we also went to go see Rogue One. So here's a picture of us from Rogue One. I was wearing my Star Wars t-shirt. We all were wearing Star Wars t-shirts. Um, it's kind of a tradition in our house to go to Star Wars on the opening weekend. So we went and saw it opening weekend. And that was a lot of fun. And on the back I just um, talked about how it's a tradition for us to go. And it always seems to come out around Christmas now. So even better. And, and then this was just... Um, a picture from the magazine. Then on day 19 we decided to make our gingerbread house this year. My husband found the gingerbread Millennial Falcon so it's kind of been another Star Wars Christmas in our house but it was so hard to put together. Here's my son going, oh, I don't know if I can put this together uh, but it was fun. It was really really easy one. Um, so we just spent probably about a half an hour doing that putting our um, gingerbread ship together. So that was fun. And then on the 20th, my son was invited to a cookie and gift exchange party with his friends. Uh, so you can see them all here. They're just a great group of girls. And there's the cookies that he made, which turned out pretty cool. Um, then on the 21st and 22nd, um, the 21st, my son helped me uh, do some baking because I hadn't even gotten around to doing any baking yet. And then on the 22nd, we went to an evening with Kate on a concert of uh, one of Tracy Neff students. Um, so that was fun. And I also wanted to put, this is what I used in the Christmas card for the photo this year, is the picture from Elf uh, with all of us. And we had a work lunch. This was the 23rd. I had a work lunch and I got my gift there. And I also uh, put on Lennon's Elf slippers in front of the fireplace. Um, and then just kind of layered some uh, pattern paper for the 23rd of December there. And then we also, on the 24th, we do quite a few kind of traditions. We make Santa's cookies on the 24th, so we always make sugar cookies and the kids decorate them however they want. So this year it was... Um, Patrick from Spongebob was one of the characters that came out and we did a lot of trees this year so there's the boys they actually do all of it from the baking to the uh, decorating so that was making cookies and then we always go and look at the lights so there's just a few pictures of the holiday lights that we go and look at um, I put a this is one of the Christmas cards that I made that didn't actually get <laughs> sent out so I just attached it in here because uh, I really like the way it turned out. So I, this is kind of how my Christmas cards were this year. I cut out one of the little snowmen, added some trees, and just used the journaling cards and stuff for the for the uh, Christmas cards uh, using this collection. So on the 24th and 25th, I kind of combined for this one on the 24th, I just always take a picture of... Um, all the presents under the tree and the stockings all stuffed and everything so that's there and then just the plates and stuff that we leave out for the reindeer and for Santa and then there's just some pictures of us opening up Christmas Day talking to my brother on Skype and the food my husband made the turkey my mom made us her amazing trifle um, which I was very thankful for um, I love eating her trifle every year uh, she makes it only once a year now so it, it's a big treat and for the rest of the year, I did the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st all on one. So this was kind of from Christmas till the end of the year. And I also added in, um, this is an old, we, the Canada Lottery Corporation had scratchies probably like 10, 15 years ago. And these were attached, like the scratchies were attached onto them and they were all different. So I have a bunch of these. Um, and the, the actress who paid played Princess Leia died on the 27th. Um, so I wanted to document that because she has been one of my favorite characters uh, and Star Wars is one of my favorite movies. So, and my husband um, also loves her and I actually got to meet her. Um, so there's a picture of her, them together. And so I wanted to document that and then I wanted to really add this in here um, just because, you know, it was one of the things that happened this year. On the 26th, um, we basically just, I've been having a lot of, of um, teeth problems, so I wasn't really in the mood to do much, so more snow, just stayed and cuddled with my kitty cat. Um, we're buying my mom's car, so it's a new car for me. Uh, it's a Honda CRV, so um, just a picture of me with my new car. And then just a picture here. Um, I picked my one little word for 2017, which is dream. And I made a little book, um, and I got this cute little unicorn um, little charm for it. 
um, since I love unicorns. And we got Reese's grad photos. I uh, can't believe he's graduating this year. And that was on the 29th. And on the 30th, just the boys were hanging about, trying not to do too much. And then hanging out with my friend for New Year's Eve and, and uh, FaceTiming with the kids. So I'm so glad that I got it done. I hope you enjoyed this really quick walkthrough. 